So this is Danny Flexen here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by Lee Phelps of William Hill. Lee, how are you? Yeah, I'm all good, thank you. I'm excited about the uh, announcement. Finally, finally the announcement. I mean, just, just can't wait to see Fury in with someone else. Yeah, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it too. I, I'm guessing the one thing you guys haven't got odds on is whether Billion White attends the first press conference, but <laughs> we, we, we all hope he gets involved. Um, yeah, it's going to be a, it's going to be an interesting uh, build up, isn't it? The build up might be better than the fight. Well, as long as he doesn't stay silent, as some people are rumouring, because that could take the edge off it a little bit. But yeah, if they if they go into it, I think it'll be quite enjoyable. Um, but what really counts, of course, is what happens in the ring. Um, it's being projected for April twenty third at Wembley Stadium, um, which we're all very excited about. What are kind of the the opening market on this fight? Who, who's the favourite, and and by how much? Yeah, you won't be surprised, I suppose, to know that Tyson Fury is the favourite, six to one on. Uh, so it's a it's a pretty hot favourite to be fair. Dillian White four to one. The draw twenty five to one. The draw is always massive, isn't it, in in, in boxing? But yeah, it's pr- probably pretty much as you'd expect. One one of the you know the interesting markets are, are around how the fight finishes though. So I think there'll be quite a lot of conjecture as to whether Fury will look to go the distance. Can can White you know will White go for broke? But uh, yeah, Fury a, a definite hot favourite for this one, and and justifiably so, isn't he? Yeah, as you say, though, it's very difficult to work out what Fury's approach will be. We've seen him outbox opponents from range. He's certainly got height and reach over uh, Didion White, although White has, I've been told, disproportionately long arms. Um, So we'll see how that comes into play. Uh, But also, we've seen him more recent times under Sugar Hill Stewart from the Kronk go full force, um, advancing, cutting the ring off and and trying to get opponents out of there. What's the... uh, I mean, we've seen Dillian White knocked out before as well, of course, mm-hmm. by Alexander Povetkin. What, what's yeah. the, the odds like there for a Fury inside schedule win? Yeah, so Fury to win by stoppage is 8 to 11. So just a shade of, of odds on. White to win by stoppage is 5 to 1. So, you know, you're looking at it's 4 to 1 to win the fight, 5 to 1 to win by stoppage. You may as well really go, you know, go with, um, go with him just to win the fight in that respect. 22 to 1 for him to win on points, which does seem really you know, unlikely given given the, the skill that Fury possesses. But the one I like is Fury by decision, nine to five. You know, I think, you, very you, think you, can, you can see that. I mean, look, you know, he's got, obviously Fury's got a lot of knockouts in his record, 22 knockouts. And, you know, even looking at Wilder recently, as you mentioned, that this new kind of, um, well, fairly new now, um, kind of aggressive style that he's got, whereas before it was a lot of kind of, it was it was more of a kind of, not an amateur style, but, you know, he, he would sit on the outside, he would jab you to death. Quite and you know, yeah, yeah, you, you just put yeah, and, and just do it that way. But it, it depends where the fight goes, doesn't it? I think if if White goes in there and is aggressive from from second one and and goes for it, then I think we'll have an entertaining fight. If White stays on the outside and tries to, you know, will survive, I guess, through the fight, then I think it's a points win for for Fury. The fight just to go the distance, whoever wins, is thirteen to eight, which again I think's a I think it's a decent price. It's it is going to be fascinating. You know, I kind of. In your mind, you think of White being a much smaller fighter. I mean, it's 6'4", isn't it? It's not like he's tiny or anything like that. But, you know, it, it'll be the first time that Fiori's fought anyone, you know, who hasn't been, you know, more or less his size for quite a while. You know, it's, you know and, and we know that that was that sort of thing that kind of troubled Joshua uh, as well, you know, with the, the smaller fighter in height. And you wonder if, you know, Fiori will be at how easy he'll cope with a, a fighter who's that bit smaller than him, who's kind of, you know, almost the kind of, you know... Kind of you know barreling in defense is tight and just barreling in and trying to you know throw throw hooks around the side and all that. It's going to be a fascinating fight. Is there? Uh, this is one that I'm quite attracted to, but you might not have the odds for it yet. But for both fighters to hit the deck, no, we haven't got that yet. And I was going to ask for that, but that we'll definitely have those because we had we had um, those prices were all enhanced for the Khan Brook fight, um, which you know which I think a lot of people took advantage of. So that that'll definitely be in there. I like that as well. Danny. I think you know you can. See, we know Fury can go down, you know, and, and you know, I think you, you think back to, I know this is a while ago, but you think back to the kind of shots that White was throwing against Joshua that caught Joshua and gave him really wobbly legs. And I can see one of those catching Fury. But yeah. as we know, Fury's got, you know, got recovery powers of like no no other man. Um, but we also know that White has got a granite chin as well. You know, I watched that, um, that White-Joshua fight again uh, just before Christmas and you forget how many times he got tagged by Joshua. When most fighters were going down at that point, when Joshua hit them, he was his legs would go, and then all of a sudden he'd be back. Three or four seconds later, White would be back, 
like you know ready to go again. So yeah, I, I would I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. We we do a thing called your odds hashtag your odds where you can request uh, various prices with the um, on 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 Twitter through the, at William Hill account and the traders will price it up. That'll definitely be on there. Um, but it'll be one of the, I think they'll enhance that as a price anyway when we come uh, closer to the uh, the fight itself. Great stuff. Now you mentioned um, Ame Khan, Kel Brook. There, big fight just took place. Yeah. How big was it for you guys? You know, in the in the gaming world. Yeah, massive. I mean, it's one of those where it's been building up for a long time, hasn't it? And you know, probably all got a, a vested interest in it somewhere along the line. You know, we've followed Khan's career from day one, really, haven't we? And the same with Brook. Um, so I think it, it maybe took us a little bit more by surprise than we expected. Some fights just absolutely, like you know, blow up. You know, for instance, this weekend. You know, the fight this weekend, Josh Taylor fight, it, you, that's a much better fight than Brooke Kahn on paper. Obviously, it's for all the belts, you know, one of the best fights in the world. In their prime. Won't, but exactly, but that won't, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting that probably won't catch, like, the way Brooke Kahn did. You know, did really good numbers revenue-wise on it. You know, loads of people betting on it. All the offers were really popular. Probably could have done more offers than they did. So, it's, you know, it's like a... You know, great, really exciting fight in the end as well, wasn't it? It was, you know, it was a really entertaining undercard as well. I thought the whole night was really good. And you know, William Hill, you know, with you know, with the kind of relationship with you guys, you know, been involved in the boxing world for you know a few years now. You know, sponsoring fighters and um, you know, liaisons with different promotion companies. And I think you know, it just shows when it, when it, when there's a big fight, people do come to the site. And you know, as long as the offers are there and the enhanced odds, we were top price guarantee on round betting so if you did back brook you know to win in six you wouldn't have got a better price anywhere than at william hill um you know so but yeah look it, it was great you know great fight it went down really well with the punters and you know really busy on the site as well and in the shops what are the early indications in terms of the the appetite if you like gambling wise for fury against white well i bet you guys find this as well if tyson fury is attached to something it works. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. You know, the numbers just tick, don't they? I asked, I asked one of the uh, top traders earlier on today, and uh, I said, "What, what, what, what we're kind of expecting?" And he's thinking like, "You could gen it'll generate seven figures." You know, it's, it's, it's wow. going to be, it's going to be a big fight. This, and you know, anything with Fury in it will be big. The fact that this is an all British fight, the fact that it's his kind of return home, all the rest of it, you know, it, it'll be massive. It'll be really big. You know, you definitely, I mean, definitely seven figures. It could be a really big one. This one. So up there with kind of a, an Anthony Joshua fight in the UK. Yeah, def uh, yes, absolutely. Yeah, and they always do really well, of, of course. But yeah, I mean, he's, look, he's going to be, he is short, you know, Fury. There's no getting away from it. And that can put that can put punters off. You know, sure. not many people have got the kind of wedge to go and, you know, put on one to six shots. But <laughs> that's where, you know, if you're looking at stoppages or you're looking at the distance or you're looking at the special offers, the enhanced odds, you know, round by round betting, you know, you can group the rounds together, you know, we, we'll, you know, could Fury win the second half of the fight? I love that at the weekend, by the way. Kel Brook to win in round six to 12. So in the second half of the fight was around the two to one mark, which I thought was a cracking bet. And, you know, so you'll be able to back the same sort of things around if you really fancy Fury, but you don't want the one to six. There'll be other ways of getting involved in the uh, in the fight. So, you know, it's yeah, there'll, there'll, there'll be tons of offers on this one. And just before I let you go, a bit of a left field question, but is there any boxers out there that do better than maybe the, the casual audience would expect? Anyone that attracts a lot of money coming in on them that, you know, we wouldn't necessarily associate as a big star? Yeah, it, it does tend to be, you know, the big names. It, it, it's not a massive surprise. You know, if it's a big name and it's being promoted heavily, then mm. yeah, that tends to work. It's going to be, you know, it's interesting how, it's the same with football already, that terrestrial sport, often does better than, you know, something that's on a pay-per-view channel because people can watch it. You know, you'll, you'll find, for instance, you know, an FA Cup third round game on a Friday night on BBC Two will do better than, you know, the biggest game, you know, of the season that happens to be on Sky or BT because there's more people watching it. Same kind of thing can apply to boxing as well. But I tell you what, you know, Conor Ben's a popular fighter. You know, I think, you know, not, not a big surprise, is it? But, you know, just a, a popular fighter. And I think people see uh, the style, they... they People want to be able to trust that they're going to get a result. They also want to trust that they can, they're going to get a knockout. You know, so that, that's where you, just backing someone to win, you're not always going to get a, a great prize. But backing someone to win and giving it the exact method of victory or by knockout or by stoppage, that gets it. So, yeah, Conor Ben is probably the one I'd point to at the minute as being one who, but that's the same for everyone, really. If, you, if you're a boxing fan, then you're in, you, you, there's, a, there's a 
there's a bit of excitement around him. But I think even if you're not a boxing fan, if you're a casual sports fan and you're having a bet, you see Conor Ben fighting, you're kind of interested, aren't you? Yeah, it's all really interesting, Leo. Re- really appreciate your time. We, we should do this again. Um, yeah, anytime. Before, as more big fights get announced, as I'm sure they will. But for now, uh, really appreciate it. And yeah, looking forward to the, the fight. Thank you.